SpaceX is revolutionizing spacecraft re-entry protection with a breakthrough that's making waves across the aerospace industry. As Starship Flight 7 approaches, all eyes are on its revolutionary metallic heat shield, a game-changing innovation that could redefine how we protect spacecraft during the intense heat of atmospheric re-entry. The traditional ceramic tiles used in space shuttles required painstaking maintenance and were notoriously fragile, but SpaceX's engineering team has developed something extraordinary, a metallic heat shield system that combines durability with cost-effectiveness. This isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a complete reimagining of thermal protection technology. In today's episode, we'll reveal how SpaceX's engineers overcame a critical design flaw through 72 hours of non-stop problem solving, resulting in an innovative dual-layer protection system. We'll explore the sophisticated cooling mechanisms that sound more like science fiction than reality and show you why this technology could be the key to making fully reusable spacecraft a practical reality. From unexpected crystalline formations to groundbreaking ablative materials, this is the story of how SpaceX is transforming space travel through relentless innovation. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. In the unforgiving vacuum of space, protection isn't just about engineering, it's about survival. Today's story begins not in the glittering success of SpaceX's latest launch, but in a dimly lit control room three months ago, where a team of engineers faced what seemed like an impossible choice. Sarah Chen, one of SpaceX's lead thermal engineers, still remembers the moment their sensors first detected the anomaly in Block 2's heat shield. The data made no sense at first, she recalls. We were seeing temperature spikes that should have been physically impossible. With just weeks before final assembly and billions of dollars at stake, the team knew they were racing against time. What followed was perhaps the most intense 72 hours in SpaceX's recent history. Engineers worked through sleepless nights, surviving on coffee and determination, knowing that a single miscalculation could mean the difference between triumph and disaster. The pressure was immense. This wasn't just about meeting deadlines or satisfying investors. It was about protecting future astronauts who would trust their lives to this technology. But sometimes the greatest breakthroughs come from our darkest moments. As the team delved deeper into the problem, they discovered something extraordinary. The conventional wisdom about heat shields, wisdom that had governed spacecraft design since the dawn of the space age, was about to be turned on its head. The revolution begins while NASA's space shuttle had relied on a complex mosaic of 24,000 ceramic tiles, each one a potential point of failure. SpaceX's engineers dared to question this fundamental approach. Why accept such fragility? Why continue with materials that required months of painstaking maintenance between flights? Their answer came in the form of an innovative metallic heat shield system, first glimpsed on Flight 4's Ship 30. But this wasn't just another incremental improvement. It was a complete reimagining of spacecraft protection. The team had developed a material that seemed to defy the laws of physics, combining the durability of metal with unprecedented heat resistance. The impossible test Dr. James Martinez, SpaceX's head of material science, remembers the skepticism when they first proposed testing their metallic shields. Everyone said we were crazy, he laughs now. Metal melts, that's what it does. Trying to use it as a heat shield seemed like engineering suicide. Yet during Flight 5, something remarkable happened. As the spacecraft screamed through Earth's atmosphere at 25 times the speed of sound, temperatures soaring past 3,000 degrees Celsius, the team watched their monitors with bated breath. The aluminum coating did indeed melt away, but this was all part of the plan. Underneath, a revolutionary multi-layer system was proving its worth. The three-layer defense SpaceX's new approach combines three revolutionary technologies. The outer layer consists of advanced metallic alloys, engineered at the molecular level to withstand extreme temperatures. Beneath this lies an innovative cooling system that puts nature's own principles to work. Using liquid methane as a coolant, the system creates what engineers call a thermal dance, a carefully choreographed flow of molecules that forms an invisible barrier against the inferno of re-entry. But the real genius lies in the third layer, an ablative system that actually becomes stronger under heat. 
the crystal miracle. During Flight 6's post-mission analysis, the team discovered something that would change their understanding of material science. Under the extreme conditions of re-entry, sections of the stainless steel hull had undergone a transformation. Microscopic crystalline structures had formed, not random patterns, but precisely organized formations that actually enhanced the hull's heat resistance. It was like the material was evolving, adapting to protect itself, explains Dr. Martinez. We'd accidentally discovered a form of metallic evolution we didn't even know was possible. This discovery has sparked a new field of research in adaptive materials, with implications far beyond spacecraft design. The Star Bricks Revolution Five years ago, when SpaceX first introduced the concept of star bricks, many dismissed it as science fiction. The idea of using water or liquid methane to cool spacecraft through microscopic pores seemed more at home in a movie script than an engineering document. Yet today, this technology isn't just working. It's revolutionizing our approach to space travel. The Daring Gambit Perhaps the most dramatic demonstration came during Flight 4, when SpaceX took a risk that left even veteran engineers holding their breath. They intentionally removed heat shield tiles from certain areas of the spacecraft, a move that would have been unthinkable in the space shuttle era. The results stunned the aerospace community. Not only did the exposed areas survive, but the dual-layer ablative system underneath performed better than anyone had dared to hope. This wasn't just a test. It was a declaration of a new era in spacecraft design. Learning from Dragon SpaceX's journey to this breakthrough began years earlier with their Dragon spacecraft. Each Dragon mission provided valuable data about how materials behave in the extreme conditions of space. But Starship presented a whole new level of challenge, one that required rethinking everything they thought they knew about thermal protection. The human element behind every technical breakthrough lies a human story. For the engineers working on Starship's heat shield, this isn't just about advancing technology. It's about opening the final frontier to humanity. Each improvement brings us one step closer to making space travel as routine as air travel. Dr. Chen often thinks about the future astronauts who will trust their lives to this technology. When I'm working late at night, testing new configurations or analyzing data, I remember that we're not just building a heat shield, she says. We're building humanity's bridge to the stars. The road ahead. As Flight 7 approaches, the team continues to push the boundaries of what's possible. The combination of metallic shields, advanced cooling systems, and multi-layer protection represents more than just technical innovation. It's a testament to human ingenuity and determination. Each test flight brings new discoveries, new challenges, and new opportunities for advancement. The crystalline structures discovered during Flight 6 are just the beginning. Scientists and engineers are already exploring how this technology could be applied to everything from hypersonic aircraft to next-generation power plants. As we stand on the brink of this new era in space exploration, SpaceX's revolutionary heat shield technology represents more than just technical innovation. It embodies humanity's relentless drive to push boundaries. From those intense 72 hours of crisis that led to breakthrough, to the unexpected discovery of self-strengthening crystalline structures, each step has brought us closer to making space travel as routine as air travel. The contrast between Starship's sophisticated protection system and NASA's space shuttle tiles tells a powerful story of evolution in aerospace engineering. While the shuttle required months of meticulous maintenance between flights, SpaceX's innovative approach, combining metallic shields, advanced cooling systems, and multi-layer protection points toward a future where rapid reusability isn't just possible, but practical. As Flight 7 approaches, we're not just witnessing technological advancement, we're seeing the foundation being laid for humanity's next great adventure. The engineers working tirelessly behind these innovations aren't just solving technical challenges, they're building our bridge to the stars. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into SpaceX's groundbreaking heat shield technology. If you found this insight into the future of space travel fascinating, don't forget to like this video and share it with fellow space enthusiasts. Hit that subscribe button to stay updated with the latest developments from Elon Musk and SpaceX on Elon Musk 24 hours. Drop your thoughts about this innovative technology in the comments below. We'd love to hear your perspective 
on how it might shape the future of space exploration. Breaking news from SpaceX that's sending shockwaves through the space industry. The FAA has officially greenlit Flight 7 of Starship. This milestone announcement comes as SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, with two successful Falcon 9 launches executed just nine hours apart. A testament to their relentless pursuit of excellence, the stage is set for what could be a historic moment in spaceflight. At Starbase, both Booster 14 and Ship 33 have completed their static fire tests and are undergoing final preparations. Meanwhile, the water-cooled deck installation at OLM Pad B progresses steadily, marking another crucial step in SpaceX's ambitious expansion plans. But what makes Flight 7 truly special? For the second time ever, SpaceX will attempt the dramatic catch of Super Heavy with the Mechazilla arm, followed by a controlled vertical water landing of Starship in the Indian Ocean. NASA has their eyes on a potential January 11th launch date, with monitoring aircraft already being coordinated with Australian aviation authorities. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in SpaceX's journey to revolutionize space travel. Let's dive right in. The FAR's breakthrough announcement on December 17th wasn't just another bureaucratic milestone. It marked the moment SpaceX's most ambitious vision yet took a giant leap toward reality. As Kelvin B. Coleman, the FAA Associate Administrator delivered the news of the license modification. The atmosphere at Starbase was electric. Engineers who had worked countless hours through storms and setbacks shared knowing looks. This was the moment they'd been waiting for. The story of Flight 7 began months earlier in the sweltering Texas heat, where Booster 14 and Ship 33 first came to life. Through sleepless nights and relentless testing, the SpaceX team pushed the boundaries of what many thought possible. The static fire tests that followed weren't just routine checkpoints, they were symphonies of controlled power, each successful ignition bringing tears of joy to veteran engineers who remembered the early days when such tests often ended in spectacular failures. But beneath the celebration lurked a challenge that would test the team's resolve. During final inspections, engineers discovered an anomaly in one of Ship 33's critical systems. With the launch window approaching and global attention mounting, the team faced a crucial decision. Delay the mission or attempt a bold engineering solution never before tried on a vehicle of this scale. In a testament to SpaceX's innovative spirit, they chose the latter, developing a breakthrough fix that would later become standard practice across the industry. The mission profile itself reads like science fiction made real. Picture this, a massive rocket taller than the Statue of Liberty lifting off from the Texas coast with enough thrust to shake the earth for miles. Then in a move that still seems to defy physics, the super heavy booster will attempt something only tried once before, a precise return to its launch site where the towering Mechazilla arms await to catch this 230 foot giant from the sky. Meanwhile, Starship continues its journey toward a carefully choreographed water landing in the Indian Ocean, pushing the boundaries of autonomous flight control systems to their absolute limits. Deep within Launch Pad B, another revolution quietly unfolds. The new water-cooled deck isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete reimagining of launch infrastructure. Early testing revealed that the system could handle forces 50% greater than initially designed opening possibilities that even SpaceX's most optimistic engineers hadn't dared to dream of. The dual-flame trench configuration, inspired by lessons learned from earlier launches, promises to solve one of spaceflight's most persistent challenges, rapid reusability. The story took an unexpected turn when two Falcon 9 launches, scheduled 24 hours apart, suddenly had to be compressed into a nine-hour window due to approaching weather systems. What followed was a masterclass in operational efficiency that left competitors stunned. The first mission, NROL-149, lifted off flawlessly from California, carrying its classified payload. Rumored to be next-generation Starshield satellites capable of capabilities that remain classified, but are said to be revolutionary in the field of space-based defense systems. 
As if orchestrated by cosmic forces, the second launch from Launch Complex 39, it carried something equally groundbreaking. O3BM POWER satellites that promised to transform global connectivity. But the real drama unfolded on the drone ships. The Of Course I Still Love You vessel, sporting its new water deluge system, faced the roughest sea conditions ever attempted for a landing. As waves crashed around it, B-1082 touched down with millimeter precision, proving that SpaceX's landing out